Election day is less than a year away, and the parties are gearing up for the electoral process. In Arizona, that means preparing to select delegates to the national convention. We begin our look at the process with the Democratic Party. Madam Secretary, Arizona cast 34 votes for Senator Sanders. On a recent night, Democrats living on Tucson's northwest side gathered in a library meeting room to learn about becoming a delegate for the 2020 convention in Milwaukee. Last time we had the most diverse delegation in the nation. So we have goals to reach for people with disabilities, uh, young people, uh, equal male and female, um, various ethnicities, that sort of thing. The Arizona Democratic delegation will be 79 people. They have to run for the seat. Those elections are among party members and take place at congressional district conventions and the state Democratic convention. The group also includes some elected officials. If we had a Democratic governor, it would be automatic. Our congressional people and senators, if they're Democratic, would be automatic. The second level is other, say, legislators, mayors, those kind of people, and there it's competitive. Larry Bodine is the precinct committeeman for Legislative District 9, which includes the Catalina Foothills. I'd just like to see it for myself and, and uh, meet all of the candidates face to face and, uh, and, and basically do my part to represent the people here in, uh, in the foothills. Alejandra Guzman is focused on the issues in federal government. We have brothers and sisters, and we have our kids, our children that are going hungry. We have a lack of housing here. How can you not do something? And I want to invite all the Hispanic, please go out to vote. Arizona is not a winner-take-all state for the Democratic delegates. The first vote at the convention that the delegation takes will reflect the outcome of Arizona's presidential preference election, which means the delegation will vote the same way the candidate percentages break down. The Democratic presidential preference election is on March 17th, two weeks after Super Tuesday.